you wrote something that I really agree with, but I want to put some context. In the jobs report we had earlier this month, we had strong wages, really strong over 300,000 uh, non-farm payroll increases, and we saw the participation rate move up. We're drawing more people into the labor force. Having said that, you wrote something that said the market's blind to the possibility of rising inflation. Can you explain what you meant by that comment? Sure. Uh, I think that uh, we haven't seen inflation above the Fed's target for a long time now. Um, uh, and I think people are sort of forgetting the fact that, that uh, ultimately we can have an overheating economy. I don't expect uh, a real rapid change, but I think a slow upward creep of inflation uh, led by these wage increases is a possibility the market is discounting too much. Now, having said that, and I don't say I disagree, it's kind of unique this time for a variety of reasons because we prime global economies for so many years that having them uh, survive on their own organic growth is something sort of new. Uh, aren't you impressed that even though it certainly looks like a fertile landscape for inflation, not only is it not showing up, the high wages still haven't created a scenario where we see a dropping labor force participation. Is there some hope in that for a Fed that can be on hold and still not see them kind of blow through their inflation target? Oh, I think the Fed can be patient because certainly they don't want to make a mistake of over tightening. Uh, we've, we've been below target too often and I think they don't want to do that either. I think they would welcome a little uh, being over target, that would balance out. It would be symmetric. You know, we're talking about two and a half percent inflation here, not you know high numbers. Uh, but yeah, I think I think the um, we shouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, the Fed doesn't need to rush. And my final thought is, you know, the Fed needs some way to be guided. And, and the markets in general, as you pointed out, sometimes the economy isn't what they pay close attention to. So would you think the notion of the long end leading Fed policy that a steepening curve should be more of a green light for more normalization? Your final thought, is that a good way for the Fed to approach its job yet undone? I think that's one signal that would definitely uh help them move in, uh, to tighten further. But even if the long end doesn't go up first, uh, I think they ought to pay close attention to what actual inflation is doing. And if, if a year from now it's starting to rise, uh, I think they may need to act regardless of the bond market. But I, I expect the bond market will also notice. So uh, I think you're right. I think the long end probably would go up first.